fucking monster for this one. Yo, it's Evos here, and on this video, I'm going to be bringing you a Razer Black Widow X Chroma Edition unboxing and the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition Chroma unboxing as well. And I'll be re reviewing the software, showing you the different lights and stuff. But yeah, I haven't uploaded a YouTube video in a while now, so please bear with me on the editing, stuff like that. I'm getting back into it. But yeah, um,. I'll be going through the unboxing now. I haven't got any commentating on the unboxing, just some background music, but I will be commentating the software I'm going through with you guys. So if you want to skip forward to that, please go ahead. Or if you want to watch the unboxing, stay and watch. And I'll get back to you when we're in the software. Okay, so here we are in the Razer software where we can now edit all our lighting for our keyboard and mouse. As you can see on the camera, this is what I've got it set to at the moment, but um, we can change it here if we go to lighting. Um, we've got it on wave at the moment. So we'll go through each one. Breathing. So you can change the colour of the breathing if you want, like red. And change that colour to blue maybe. So you can have two colours. There's the red. And there's the blue. Random colour. That'll pick a colour for you. Like, yep, it'll be any random. That was like an orange colour. Oh, now a lighter blue. 
Now if I click this, apply to other Chrome enabled devices, then that will sync it with the mouse. See, that will come on red and that will come on red. Next one we've got reactive. I like this one quite a bit. Each key you click, it basically just stays on. And I think you can actually link this to your mouse as well. Yeah, so when you click your mouse, it lights up. Um, you can change the duration, brightness, colour, all that stuff. Spectrum, cycling. This basically fades through all the colours on the software. You can apply it to your mouse as well, or whatever other Chrome device you've got. So it's all the same. Next we've got Starlight. And this just simply, well, flashes diff different colours. Now what else we've got? Um, wave. This is the one I've been using quite a bit. The Wave. Now if we apply this to other Chroma devices, it basically goes from the mouse to the keyboard or whichever direction. So if I put it to the right to left, it changes direction. Which is pretty nice. You can have Chroma Configurator which basically like you can yeah, do loads of stuff for it so I could set WASD keys to be a static um, let's say what colour oh hang on ok we can say them static blue maybe if I click apply that did not work did it that's it apply there we go well Okay, just take a bit of getting used to it, but you can always mess around with it. My favourite one has to be the wave for the keyboard because just very good it looks. Okay, now we'll move on to the mouse. If we go down into the bottom left corner, you can see the Razer Mamba. Now we've got all sorts of stuff here. We can have like we can change these keys so they can do all sorts of different things. I haven't had a really good like you know look into this software yet but this is what I've seen at the moment change the speeds all that good stuff lighting this is where I really want to be at the moment we've got it on wave as you can see here but you can change the direction to up to down and then breathing I'm gonna try this one Okay, so that's the breathing, going into different colours. Now we can try the spectrum cycling, which basically, as you can see now, fades through all the different spectrum colours. Static is obviously this, you know, just the static colour. Now we can change this colour if we want to, any static colour we want really. So there's the blue, looks pretty nice. And while we're doing this, we can apply it to other Chroma devices, which will apply it to the keyboard as well. Now if I put this on bright, it gives it more bright colour, obviously. <laughs> and the last one we're down to now is the Wave. Definitely my favourite one, as you can see. now it is going in match with the keyboard so that's basically all the software you can go to calibration I've got it calibrated with the mouse mat what I've got the Razer Goliath control mat I think I've got the control I'm not too sure but I don't think I've bought the speed I think I've got control but you can you now customise it to the Firefly and all that stuff any razor mouse pad 
you can add an other mouse pad, but I'm not trying that because I've got it set up to mine at the moment. And you got this stuff you can read yourself if you want to pause it. And then you can have, you know, custom Chroma apps. Not tried any of this stuff, but I'm not too sure what that all does, but that's basically a little overview of what we can do on this. You can change the keyboard to gaming mode. That basically disables like the window key, the Alt and F4. So if you accidentally click them in a game, then you know it's all good, nothing will happen. You've got customize so you can set maybe let's say number number one. You can set that so it can launch a program, be a window shortcut, you can disable the key. You can have it as a macro, so you can record a macro onto that. You can have it as a mouse function. All that big list there, it is pretty good. But yeah, that's basically a quick overview of the software. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.